with Shorefest, we have a number of initiatives um, and economic development on Fogo Island, and we're really focused on community engagement and uh, social and economic projects that are community focused. And so I had sort of been watching Bows uh, as afar, and so I, I had reached out to our executive team and I said, these are people that have the same values and understand uh, a different way of approaching this, so we really need to reach out and talk to them. As you see yourself kind of coming to the to Fogo Island by boat, it just uh, really cements you in the you know the the reality of, of of life on this island. The scenery is nothing short of beautiful, and it's it's been a pretty eye-opening project thus far, and I'm excited to see what happens with it. I think one of the things this recipe has for it is uh, is that it's going to take more than just one element. So, uh, sea salt right from the ocean, uh, partridge berries uh, picked by hand, um, smoked with myrrh that we've, you know, foraged ourselves, and then aged in toasted birch. Um, and uh, in a Gosa-like beer, uh, but hardy enough for the winter. It's, it's all sorts of things that are just definitely something that y you would have in your experience day to day here. This is a beer that ex is going to exist because we've come here and we've been able to make connections with people that, that live here, that understand being here. Someone's almost transported to this place a little bit and they're getting a little bit of an idea or a flavor of like what it is to be here. And the finest band at Tilting Club, they're swinging arm in arm. There's all those pretty island girls all serving up the beer. Watch them